Now, normally you guys know that my keyboard is like all rainbowy and shit. And it's normally like a little wave. Well, I have this new profile on it. Why? I click it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm hyped up over a glowy keyboard. Don't act like you didn't wear them light up sketches when you were a kid. I know I did. I actually wanted to go outside just so I could walk around so my feet lit up. I wanted to go outside at nighttime. Not just go outside, go outside at nighttime. Not only is there absolutely nothing, nothing to do in New Jersey, right here anyway. It is nighttime. There is nothing happening here. We don't have clubs or some shit like that here. I know a lot of people are going to say some shit like, dude, well, in my town, a lot of shit goes on at nighttime. We got clubs and this and that. We got parties going on. No, we don't have that. The most we have is a rundown shopping center where there's like three crackheads, two hobos that just like, I don't know, there's like a few cops that end up over there like every couple months. Nothing goes on out here. And next to that bullshit, since this is the middle of the Pine Barren, you have to worry about getting abducted by Slenderman or eaten by the Jersey Devil. What? How do I not kill you? Yeah, I just want to say this is you. Oh, Alright, I'm pulling up. Oh, look, man, look at the video. Speak out okay. I just want to hit one clip for this shit. That's all. Dude, that's literally bullshit. Like, your name is Ninja X Ox. Like, fucking kill yourself. That's the most disgusting name I've fucking seen. In my <laughs> you know how fucked up I was when all this stuff started coming out about Slenderman? When all the people started playing, like, the Slenderman game? The little secret footage videos that are coming out about it? They started getting millions and millions of views because everybody started playing the games and all that stuff? You know how fucked up I was living in the middle of the woods knowing that this is Slenderland? I actually didn't even want to look out my window anymore. Because as soon as I look over there, he's just gonna pop up. Just like in the game. Fuck you. I forget what year it was, but there was a year where everybody was talking about the world ending on a certain day. I mean, that's happened a ton of times. There's always like all these premonitions and all these people that are saying the world is just going to like end one day due to like a zombie apocalypse or a meteor or something. But there was one time specifically where it was just so hyped up and what they weren't talking about it on the news or anything like that, but it was so hyped up on the internet. And I think at that time, like Twitter wasn't even like all that big of a deal at that moment. I think Facebook was kind of the thing and I didn't even like say on that that much. There were people talking about there was going to be like a huge power outage and then it was going to be like a zombie apocalypse or something like that and for some reason at that time i genuinely believed it. it was weird it's not like i sat there and like preached it to everybody else saying that the world is coming to an end that day or something like that or days beforehand i was actually making fun of it with all of my friends i was just sitting there at a party with akg srk the usual group and we're sitting there like laughing and talking and all this other stuff and they said at 12 midnight it will begin and it strikes 12 12 midnight at my house and we're all sitting there laughing wow. and all this other stuff like oh yeah right this shit'll never Ever happened and after it hits 12 everything just kind of got quiet everything got quiet in our xbox live party after it hit 12 o'clock everybody was just kind of like nervously laughing about it at that point everybody was just kind of like yeah that like that would happen and then there's just this long awkward silence about a solid 30 seconds and we were just sitting there like what if it did happen and I'm sitting there like, damn, I'm actually a dumbass because if I sat here and I didn't even prepare for it, right? What if the power actually does go out and I'm not prepared whatsoever? I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. And I sat there like contemplating like I should have taken this seriously the whole time. I started genuinely believing to where I got up, I locked my door, I made sure all of my windows were closed. Any sound that I heard or any flicker of the light, I was ready to call 911 and shit. I mean, like that would have changed anything. Like the police would have actually been able to stop a zombie apocalypse. I'm sitting there in my room alone, just freaking myself out. Any little sound I heard any other siren outside I remember after that long pause I'm like yeah like that would never happen I'm sitting there looking for a weapon trying to plan a way out if something were to actually happen people think I'm fucking playing I'll do anything to survive I'll eat a person this is the shit I'm talking about you never recruit me to your zombie apocalypse survival group because I'm going to betray you I will do anything in my power to survive I don't give a single fuck I am the biggest coward I know I mean at least this time I have like a shit ton of weapons even though I mean a bunch of slicing weapons aren't very effective against zombies but I mean maybe the little crossbow would work but all these little pocket knives and Flip knives ain't gonna do shit. I got a bunch of zombie apocalypse survival blades and shit like that. It's that's what it says on there, but I'd rather just, you know, blow them up. Or, you know, just shoot them in the face. I mean, I don't live too far from like this military base or something, I think. They probably have like assault rifles. So they have to have assault rifles, right? See, the reason I keep mentioning this is because if it does happen, I know there are some sorry, sorry people that are going to actually pick me up to their group. And trust me, if there is any situation, any situation where I fall down in the hallway or something like that, and if you turn back to help me, you are risking your life and you don't do it. 
it. If you don't save me, I don't blame you. I would have done the same thing. I would have left your ass. Stop. Don't fall. Got me fucked up if they think I'm strong enough mentally. If I have the mental fortitude to push past my own instincts. Rain has his brand new car. He's gonna be able to hop in that shit and just drive away at light speed. Meanwhile, I'm over here in my 2009 Scion TC. His top speed is like 130 miles an hour. And I get nervous when I'm going over 60, so. <laughs> He'll be out. I'm gonna die back here in New Jersey. At the end of the day, yeah, just leave me behind. I won't mind. It's okay.